Rainbow Six Free Raven Shield from now on Raven Shield stands as one of the greatest tactical shooters ever made. It got so many things right, became cult classic, was graphically best looking game at the time and it did it in pre Half-Life 2 era. It forgo any unnecessary pseudo-realistic nonsense like having accuracy of an old man with Alzheimer. Or whole RNG mechanic built around intimidating terrorists with pre-recorded voice lines into surrender and penalizing you with lower score for outright killing them. Even though most will refuse to surrender while being tased endlessly. Like mechanic seen in last game in a competing series, ill-fated SWAT 4. Raven Shield instead cuts right to the chase. No negotiating with terrorists, just eliminate all tangles. Here and there, there are objectives that have to be met, like rescuing hostage and defusing bombs. Though, one odd mission has you back house of a suspect in terrorist conspiracy without being discovered or killing anyone. That one was a doozy and a real pain in the bum, and seems to be more in line with Splinter Cell game rather than Rainbow Six game. Also, if you are not a fan of shooting, you can play as a commanding officer sitting in a cozy spot somewhere in the office without getting your hands dirty. And just plan out the operation and execute goal commands, letting your underlings do the heavy lifting. Popular feature that was taken out of tactical shooters a long time ago. When it comes to weaponry and operators in a preparation screen, one might think that there are some complex RPG elements at play. Luckily, with this game, that is simply not the case. Enemies go down in one or two hits no matter what, even when you hit them in places like legs or hands. There is either healthy state, injured state or pushing up the rosy state. Damage statistic on a weapon is irrelevant. This might not be all too realistic, but it is simple enough to understand and it works like a charm. It is perfect for this game. And I must not forget the silencer attachment. It serves as a way to lower the game's difficulty. Kinda ingenious if you think about it. Operators are about the same, though Assault skill does dictate how accurate they will be with close quarter guns when controlled by computer. However, it is largely negligible, as they are fairly accurate no matter who you choose into your team. Moral of the story is that any operator can do everything. If you order anyone to defuse a bomb, their low demolition skill will not stop them from doing the task. I have seen many people talking about the story of the game being not that important and not that good. I tend to disagree, a story fits the game like a glove. It tries to be more mature and in line with what is going on in a real world. Though particular terrorist ideology chosen for this game is not usually one that is flying in this sort of stuff. But with enough wit, you can connect dots with real-world terrorist organization and certain governmental and business interests bankrolling them. And then you realize that it is all just political and ideological drama. There is not an antagonist who taunts you every time, antagonist that has weapons of immense powers. No. It is just some old guy with lots of money in the shadows who secretly funds terrorist organization in order to gain profits and achieve certain goals, while appearing in a public as a decent man. And your overall goal is to connect the dots and get substantial evidence against him. And the whole story is voice acted with three characters from the Tom Clancy's book, so you can really get immersed. Though, there are some subtle changes just to the story in the game. When it comes to the 2.0 mode, 
It is simple mod that makes much needed quality of life changes to the game and even some not so great changes to the game. For starters, iron sights. Iron sights was always something that was missing from this game. With the mod, you get them and they do change the game quite a bit. However, they are not perfect, as they are transparent. Not sure why that is, but obviously you should not be able to see through them. They did good job on a recoil while in iron sights though. And it sure feels realistic when you go on full auto with heavier caliber weapons. Your teammates now fire exclusively in semi-automatic fire and thus are less likely to run out of ammunition for primary weapon. Crosshairs are removed, though they can be edited back. And one bad change I noticed is that of a heart sensor. While it is still broken as all hell and it allows you to see enemies behind doors and walls, they did make it into repulsive gadget by adding red filter onto the screen and thus impairing clarity of your findings. They probably got inspired by Rainbow Six Siege hard sensor, but one they implemented is 10 times worse. Overall, Raven Shield has a special place in my heart. It is built upon simple concept, yet it manages to achieve quite a bit of tactical complexity.